What's going on everyone? Welcome back into the channel, Foster the Picker. Today I got a really exciting video for you. We have not done a switch trade pickup in forever, so today we're actually gonna get one of those done for an Animal Crossing switch. As well as I made a really bad purchase, I paid $300 for some comic books recently. Hold up, before we get too far, let me explain how I ended up spending $300 on comic books at a garage sale. So I went to this garage sale that claimed they had collectibles. Seeing a box of comics got me so excited I decided to work my magic. So I asked the guy, you know if you'd be willing to work a deal on the whole box? Then he replied, I'd have to go through it. after 15 minutes he gives me this number. 442? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all the bobbleheads? 300? I tried to haggle with him, but he wasn't having it. Could you do 250? No. No? So we settled on 300. Come to find out, the comments were worth exactly what I paid for. Now with that being said, back to the video. That were not really that worth it, but I have a place that I'm gonna to try to trade them in and get as much value back as possible and use that trade-in credit to buy video games from that same store. So stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. What I'll probably do. Basically, didn't work. I didn't read the disc. Okay. So I buy him another one that didn't have any cords, just a console. But he, uh, so I had it just for parts if anybody needed it. And a couple old Xboxes had that red ring from back in the day that, you know, I didn't know if anybody it wanted a wanted cord, it. Yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll take a look at all that stuff too and try to help you with that. Well, if you get around to it, you get home, send me some pictures. I'm, you know what I mean? I can try to give you a, a price for that. Does he? Okay. This, I don't have any idea. There's some memory cards, old joystick stuff. I don't know if okay. you want it. Yeah. It's just yeah. But yeah, I, I, I kind of took everything out of tow when you had started. You know, when I seen your post, post. I inspired them up, put a game in them. Just I wanted to make sure they read games or right. I mean, most of the something. cases look in really good condition, and I'm sure the games. Yeah, they were are good with them. It's just it was hard to tell because back in the day, it's like our DVDs and stuff. Back in the day, they go play in our game. They just shoved the game that was in it in the wrong yeah. case. I <laughs> have to go through constantly. Yeah, and re reorganize them. Heroes, got both guitar straps and actually you can look at it. You only have one of the dongles with it, so I ordered another one. It's still brand new sealed. Oh, okay, box cool. There, so, it's so it's got both of them in it. Very cool. Okay. I said, did all I, that. I'm not going to bother with that. And then, then they didn't, didn't even, even use it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Man, uh, I don't need bad corn. So I mean, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if everything if everything's broken, I might hit you up, but I <laughs> yeah. really highly doubt everything in, in here is going to be that's broken. All right. you can, you can Give you your whatever you want for that there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Holy crap! What a haul. We'll talk about it a little bit more in the car. But look at all of this stuff, guys. Look at all of it. This whole bag is full of nothing but video games. All right, guys. So we just got done with that pickup. I want to go through this in kind of more detail when we get back to the house because holy crap. I thought the deal itself was good, but I told him to bring anything else that he had on top of it because he had some Xbox 360s and stuff that we didn't include into the deal that he sent me pictures of because I just wanted to give him a pretty fair deal and I thought what I picked out from what he sent me was a good deal, but the rest of the stuff he bought, brought, I paid 100 bucks for and you guys aren't going to believe one of the games that actually is inside of the deal. So when we get home, we're going to go through with that, but first before we get home, where are we going Lacey? We're not going to games. We're know. going. We're, we're going to the bargain bin or bargain box. Uh, they do comics and video games there. Like I said, I paid three hundred dollars for the comic books behind me in the trunk, and 
it was a really bad purchase. So today we're gonna go get rid of those and hopefully break even with the pickups I'm gonna be able to get with the video games uh, there. So we're gonna go there now and get maybe some footage inside of there. No store footage, sad face. All right guys, so we are now back at the house and I've laid out everything on the table that we picked up at that sale and also what we got at the game store. Unfortunately, I asked the guy if I could record in there. He said he really didn't prefer that. There was too many customers in the store. So I'm gonna break that down to you now. I'm gonna take that off first and then we're gonna get into the actual switch trade, which was probably the most surprising and uh, definitely the most fun part of the whole entire trip. So as you guys know already, I spent $300 on those comic books and uh, I they paid me 160. I'll just be straight up forward with you. They paid me literally half and that's probably what I was expecting to get when I went in there. But the goal was to use that 160 and trade in to not only just get cash, but to get stuff to sell to make my money back. So I'll take you through what I got. As you guys have seen in the last few videos, these Skylander portals are doing pretty good. Some of them do really good. This one's about 60, it's the Xbox One portal. And this one actually right here is about a $40 portal. It's for the Nintendo 3DS. Next, I've already sold one of these, but it sells for about $75. And I've already got it packaged up, ready to go to Amazon. It sells for about $75. It's a uh, Traptanium portal for the Xbox One. It sells really good and for a decent amount of value on Amazon. These are kind of a staple in selling on Amazon at this point, Ninten or Nintendo. PlayStation navigation controllers got two of them paid up on these ones about 15 but they're selling for close to 40 so that was a good price there and to be completely honest it's kind of a small stack of games but there's some decent value in here uh, I kind of swung and miss on this one it's only about 20 to 25 dollars on eBay and Amazon I paid 20 so I pretty much just got my money back on that one but then we have Ben 10 Cosmic Destruction actually a really solid title about 40 dollars over on Amazon I think it's about 35 dollars on eBay and then Call of Duty Black Ops 2 has been spiked in price over on Amazon as well. Sold one of these recently actually for $52 and some change on there. I paid $20 for this. Rayman Raving Rabbids uh, paid $10 for this. Not a huge hitter. Typically in complete condition you can get about $25 for this. And then Game of Thrones. I thought this one was interesting. Kind of a slow seller but I paid $10 for it and it should sell for about $20 to $25 over on Amazon. All right, so with all that being said, you guys seen the stuff. I gave you kind of the rough numbers on it. We're looking at about $290 between the trade-in that I got back and the profit that I'm standing to make on those items. So to lose $10 and gain a bunch of knowledge was really key. And honestly, the guy gave me some really good helpful tips for when, comic, when you come across comic books. So he said to stay 25, per, 25 cents and under and stick to your main characters. Batman, Spider-Man, Flash, uh, Superman characters like that sell really well those comic books sell really well when they're 25 cents and under over that you kind of get into some iffy uh, hit points but realistically you should be just looking for right around the 25 cent mark unless you know your comics super well all right so now for the grand total on this thing and to guys give you guys a full breakdown of exactly what we got I'll probably start over here I'm not gonna take too long on it these are two Xbox 360s that do not work I was just I told him I'll take them because he just wanted this stuff out of his house. I told him I was going to sell some of this stuff and he was perfectly fine with it. He said, I, I just want this stuff out. I need room. Take it. So I, that's exactly what I did. I ended up giving him a switch and a hundred dollars for everything you see on this table. Plus those two Xboxes. Plus we actually have some stuff down here. We got a whole bunch of Xbox original controllers, but this right here is really nice. This uh, Supreme Party Guitar Hero Live sells for on Amazon for $363 in used condition. And this actually got the original box, which is kind of cool. Has both dongles, both guitars, and the game in there. And that's that right there is pretty much our Switch back. Now for everything on the table, we're looking at two PlayStation 2s, one slim, one uh, fat, and both of these are actually working. Now we have a working one, and, and this does not read discs in the GameCube department. That's okay. He told me about this. He said this didn't work, and he was totally right on that. And then we have a Modern Warfare, uh, a D Modern Warfare 2 edition Xbox 360, which I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't really come across this too often, but uh, it sells for about $70, tested and works. And then we have a slim complete inbox here, uh, 250 gig console, and that will sell for about 100 bucks, maybe a little more because it's got the uh, box with it as well. 
All right, so last but not least, we're going to go through the games, and I'm not going to take you through all of them, but I do want to point out a few of them that were really, really surprising. And the first one being, I think it's at down here at the bottom of the stack, right there, guys. Def Jam Fight for New York. When I seen this puppy come out in the extra bundle he brought, I was absolutely flabbergasted to be honest like this game sells for a hundred and sixty five dollars on ebay 165 dollars for that game i paid a hundred for that multiple other games and multiple other systems so we're going to make pretty good money on that and then there was a few other titles in here that i wanted to point out as well scarface this one has actually risen in price recently unfortunately this one's not complete but it has a really nice disc really nice case it is black label which if you don't know black label do sell typically better than uh, red labels do um, but yeah this sells for about 45 50 dollars and i think it's selling for even more than that on amazon all right so we got some really good titles here that i wanted to take you through probably the best ones in the lot we'll show you a brief overview of everything else afterwards but these are probably the main titles in said lot final fight Streetwise, this is actually a pretty rare game. Sells for about $70 on Amazon and $35 to $40 all day long on eBay. And this uh, Lucho Libre actually is a decent title as well. Sells for about $20 on Amazon or $30 on Amazon and $20 on eBay. Breakdown, it's another $20 there. Fine, or Grand Theft Auto Vice City, one of the only Grand Theft Auto, old Grand Theft Auto games that actually holds really good value. Kind of a rare one to find. $65 on that one. This one I'm just going to show you because it's cool. It's sealed. Typically you don't find sealed games. It's not a very profitable sealed game, but it's sealed nonetheless. Time Splitters 2, an easy $20 on that one. Evil Dead, if you find any of these Evil Dead games, they typically do very well. $35 to $40 bucks all day long. Talk to you about Scarface already, and Jaws Unleashed is about $20 over on eBay. Another game I wanted to show you real quick was Blade 2. Typically, movie titles don't do well, but Blade 2 here sells for a pretty uh, solid $30. And here's a few of the titles of the rest of the games. Now, the stack you're looking at right now all needs to be resurfaced, really scratched up, but some solid titles in there. Twisted Metal is really good, $30 to $35 on those couple. And then uh, the rest over here are all in good co condition, just slightly lower in price, between $10 and $20, maybe a couple $30 titles in there as well. And here's a lot of titles that honestly just don't have very much value in the whole entire lot. Not really a whole bunch when you consider how many video games we got. Probably about $20 in trade-in value at our local video game store. So after taking into account every single piece that we got in this in this Switch trade, we spent $320 after tax on the Switch. We spent another $100 on the extra stuff that he included in the deal, and that means we have spent $420. Now we spent we got 90 pieces. So if you take 420 and you divide that by 90 pieces, we come out to $4.67 per item now you guys seen that we got a box of trade in so that's going to deteriorate the value per item a little bit but not too much and then we also have all these games and you're going to say to yourself well i wouldn't spend four dollars and 67 cents on a ten dollar video game and neither would i but if you factor in the fact that every single one of these consoles cost us four dollars and 67 cents and that 363 dollar guitar hero live bundle cost us four dollars and 67 cents you can kind of see where the margins bring up for you to allocate ten dollars uh to 467 to a $10 game. So with that being said, I'm projecting on this lot here that we're going to at least triple our money, if not quadruple. I would say triple is a conservative number. Two grand is about where I would like to be at the high end of things, but that's a really great score on just a switch trade. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had getting this stuff because it was an absolute blast. I haven't had a switch trade in forever, and to have one of this magnitude really means that maybe the, the climb for the Switch trades are coming back into fruition. And thankfully, I got rid of those comic books and made most of my money back and gained a lot of knowledge from it. So if you've enjoyed this video at all, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss a single episode. They come out on Thursday at noon every single week. And as always, encourage others, develop yourself, and we'll see you guys 